Did they ingest plastic or fishing gear? Were they exposed to loud acoustic noises like bombs or sonars? Georgia marine experts hope to find out tomorrow through a necropsy why part of a pod of pilot whales beached themselves off St. Simon's Island. Joy is here now with what one local marine expert thinks. Joy? Mary, Kent, three of those stranded whales died after a pod of about 50 came too close to shore. You remember yesterday? State officials have removed the deceased whales from the beach after an event one wildlife biologist says is very rare for our area. It is so sad. Oh, my God. They're going to die if they don't get help. Oh, Lord. We need angels out here today. Since this scene went viral, showing dozens of beachgoers doing their best to save about 25 stranded pilot whales in shallow waters off St. Simons Island, DNR, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, says it has removed the three whales that died. This photo is one of them believed to have later been attacked by a shark. Onlooker Brad Groover watched the state wildlife experts in action. This morning, the uh, whale was just laying in the water and uh, about an hour or so passed and DNR and the cops came and drug it out. Wildlife biologist Clay George says these marine mammals usually stay about 100 miles offshore. Something went wrong with this pod of pilot whales um, days or maybe even weeks ago that led them to end up this far you know, from their natural habitat. Crews were out monitoring the rest of the pod as the whales did make their way into deeper waters, about six miles from shore. This is Sky 4 video of the area where the whales beached themselves. The three whales that died were found on St. Simons Island at the Coast Guard Beach, near the lighthouse and on the south end of St. Simons Sound. George says the reason so many whales were swimming together is because they are very social animals, living in groups of 30, 40, 50 at a time. But if one animal in the group gets injured or sick, uh, all the other animals in the group can follow them great distances um, into shore, uh, and then they can strand. We still don't know if that was the case. Again, right now it's unclear why this pod of whales came so close to shore, causing two dozen of them to become stranded on the beach. That necropsy is scheduled for tomorrow. Mary, Kent?